at all that land. Dude. Wow. It's like a movie. It doesn't even look real. What up, y'all? I'm back. I know it's been a minute. I know a lot's gone down in the past however many months since I last posted. 2021 bikes came out. Um, that revival, revival bike came out. 30 grand, I think it was. 30 grand for that bike. Um, but yeah, man. So yeah, it's, it's been a minute since I posted. I, I've definitely been riding, as y'all can probably tell from the sunburn I got on my arms here and the tan line I got on my hand. This is proof that I do wear gloves right here. You guys see the tan line. So, so I mean, it's been about a, it's been a little over a year since I bought this bike. So one of the things that I've learned having this bike for a year, man, is, I mean, I'm satisfied for sure. I love the bike take this thing anywhere and you know it's a it's a solid bike you know you got storage you got a fairing you could take this bike across the country and you're good you're comfortable um but there is something missing man i, I do want another bike and i do want it to be a soft tail i miss that feeling of riding around the city and you know having that wind just hit my face and my body I miss that feeling, man. Bump coming up. Oh. I haven't upgraded the bike at all. I just did a stage one. Did a stage one on my own. And I'm loving it. A lot more power. A lot more volume. The bike sounds more like a Harley. We're doing 90 right now. and It's nothing. We're cutting through. We're cutting through the wind like nothing, guys. But yeah, about the soft tail, you know, I'm, I want to get a low rider S for sure. Do it up club style. Put a little fairing on there. I can remove the fairing when I want. Ride around the city. Throw the fairing back on if I'm going to hit the highway. I want to have two bikes, man. Um, riding with this bike, you know, I'll go ride with homies and whatnot. And... If we're riding local, it's just it just feels weird to hop on a road glide and drag this big old thing down the streets. Um, and I love I love city riding. I love local riding. I know a lot of people aren't into that because you know they're afraid of the cars and whatnot. But I love city riding, guys. And road gliding, city riding is just a little funky. You got to come to stops, and it's a big old. This thing is like a bus, dude. So. I don't know. This bike is crazy, man. Uh, doing 85 right now about, and it doesn't even feel like it. It's just, it's just so easy to ride this thing. It looks like butter. But yeah, man. See, this is... The robot is perfect for this right here, man. If you're having a long day, you want to just zone out, you hop on the freeway, highway, wherever you want to go, you just go, man. You tune out, you plumb some music, you ever get lost, you got your navigation. I keep hearing people say that loud pipes don't save lives. What? Oh my gosh. And I had a debate with some people about this too. It's so stupid. Like, it's like a common sense thing that a loud pipe, you know, people hear you when you have a loud pipe, so it's going to save your ass. So, you know, they, sh they sent me articles saying, that basically argue that lo loud pipes don't save lives and these, experiment these experiments that were done in these articles and so on and so forth, the main thing that these articles argued off this experiment was that your, your exhaust is pointed backwards behind your bike, right? So when you're coming, when you're passing somebody, they don't hear you up until you pass them, right? Because again, your exhaust is pointed backwards. The people behind you will hear you, but the person in front of you, ahead of you in traffic will not hear you. This is what 
the uh, articles argue, okay? And an example they give is like an ambulance. You notice, you notice an ambulance, this is coming towards you, but when it passes you, it gets quieter and quieter. That's because their exhaust, or sorry, their exhaust, their speaker for their siren is in the front of their car, uh, in the front of the ambulance, to alert people ahead, to get the heck out of the way. Ah, oh, it feels good to just cruise like this, man. You got the whole road open. Look at that, there's nobody behind me, there's nobody ahead of me. Look at this beautiful greenery, baby. Look at that, that is amazing. The trees, air, fresh air. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I feel like a tree hugger right now, but look at this, this is beautiful, man. Anyway, back to that stupid article. So, the argument was loud pipes don't save lives because your exhaust is pointed backwards. The people ahead of you don't hear you because, again, your exhaust is pointed backwards, right? That is such a stupid argument because it, it's basically, they contradict themselves. Your loud pipe doesn't save your life because it is pointed backwards and only the people behind you can hear you. So people behind you can hear you, congratulations, you've alerted nearby drivers. You may not have alerted everybody, but you've definitely alerted the people behind you. And we all know that sometimes you could come to a stop and a car behind you will, just won't see you and it'll hit you, right? That just saved your ass. You have a loud pipe, congratulations. Every time you rev your, rev your bike like that, congratulations. All the cars around you now know that there is a motorcycle nearby and they got to be careful. You ever been on the freeway and you heard like a loud motorcycle rev up? There you go. You just know. You may not see that motorcycle. You look in your rearview mirror, you look in your side mirrors. Hey, I don't see that motorcycle, but I hear him. I need to be careful because there's a motorcycle around here somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's stupid, man. Loud pipes don't save lives. You know what that is? That's just a bunch of people who hate Harleys and cruisers with loud pipes. You know, we don't get loud pipes to sound cool and whatnot. Like, actually, loud pipes take a toll on you when you're riding for a long distance and, you know, you got that exhaust just blasting, but in my opinion, it's safety first. You know, another thing about really quiet exhaust, you ever been driving and you got a crotch rocket that just like swings right past you? Like, it'll be. You won't even hear it until it comes right next to you, you know what I mean? Actually, you may not even hear it then because like the exhaust is just like, it's got like a silencer on it or something. You just don't hear anything. Now that is dangerous, especially at night. Maybe people got to be respectful to neighbors or whatever, so they got to rock down that super quiet exhaust, but... Never, bro! Bring on the noise complaints and bring it all on. I don't give a hell. I ain't gonna crap on none of that.